Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will be talking about how to use image optimization in Next.js static exports. I have a simple project which is an image gallery here in VS Code with the local div server running. It's just a few images here and it is running with the default configuration. But if I set this project to export mode by typing output export, hit save, refresh the page, you will see an error that image optimization is not supported with the export mode. And there are two possible solutions. So we can remove the export mode, but if it's not your case and you need the static files of your project. So we're moving to the next one. We can configure to use unoptimized images. Let's try this one. Images, unoptimized, and set to true. Refresh the page. And as you see, it's really working, but if we go to the network page and filter all the requests for images, you see that we fetched around 18 megabytes for just six images here, which is inefficient, and it will load slowly on mobile networks. So if I set the network throttling to fast 3G, refresh the page, And you see how long it would take to load all the images here because of their size. So I suggested to use the another approach. We can actually convert our images at build time and use those images in our project. And for that, we will use the next image export optimizer. Basically what it does, this library optimizes all static images after the next static export. It converts and generates a set of images for different device sizes. And if we scroll down a bit to see the official documentation of this library, we see a list of features that this library provides. So it does a conversion to WebP format by default. It generates blurry placeholder images when you only load your images. It even supports TypeScript. You can even use remote images and animated images here. And the last, you can set the image quality, which is super useful. First, we need to install it using this command. Then we need to add the configuration to our Next.js settings. So let's replace that. And here we need to set image folder path to public, because our images are placed in the public folder. Hit save. We'll go through every setting here step by step a bit later. Next, we need to add the export command to our package.json file. So we'll run it each time we need to build the static files for our project. Let's go to our package.json file and place down here our new command. And as the last step, we need to replace all the native image components to export the image component of this library. So we need to import it in this way. Let's copy that, go to our page component, and replace it here, and here as well, where we render our images. Let's hit save and go to our project, hit refresh. Let's turn off the network throttling. And you see that in dev mode, it's working properly. However, you see those errors here and in the console as well, because next image export optimizer is trying to find the optimized images in public folder, but we are not generated them yet. We will do it in a second. So let's build our project using our new export command by running npm run export. And you see, after the export, the optimization is started. And we need to wait a bit. So the optimization is finished, and let's see what it looks like. You see that the library has created the next image export optimizer folder, and if we open it, you will see a set of images for every image in our project that we use. And it goes from 10 pixels 16, 32, and way down to 4K resolution. Let's serve our project with npx serve, and we pass out, hit enter. Let's refresh the page. 
everything works, let's go to the network page. And as you see, while we are previewing our project in a really small device with 392 pixels, the Next.js lost only 640 pixels wide image. And if I zoom out a bit, and we will slightly go up to the desktop size, and when we pass the 640 pixels resolution here in a second, you see that the Next.js loads another set of images with 750 pixels. And it works again if we expand our window even more. And those resolutions like 715, 828, 1080, 1200 are defined in the Next.js config file. And here are our resolutions. And actually we can tweak those values depending on our project needs. However, I've already tried to experiment with image sizes and different device sizes, but haven't noticed any difference between setting those sizes in device sizes or image sizes. Uh, what I mean, if we just move those values to the de device sizes, it would work the same way. Let me know in the comments if you found the difference. For my project, I would delete those tiny sizes, so I would like to render only a few resolutions for our images. Let it be 360 pixels, 480 pixels, 768, 992 pixels, 1200 and the full HD resolution. And we will delete those. Hit save. And let's also go through the each setting here. Here we set the image folder path, which is our public folder. But if you use another folder for the images, just set it here relative to your next config file. The next one is export folder path. By default, it's the out folder. And here's the quality. I'd like to set it to 80. The next one enables the WebP format. Here's the export folder name that is created near the image files. And here we can enable or disable blurry placeholder images. If we set to true, it will generate a 10 pixel resolution file for each image and show it while your images are loading. Let's go back to Chrome and set our network throttling to fast 3G and let's refresh the page. And you see those blurry images here, and we've already loaded our 10 by 10 tiny images here. This is exactly how it works. If we disable it by setting to false, it would not generate the 10 by 10 pixel images. And the last settings is the caching setting for remote images, which is by default is null seconds. And that's it. This library is not complicated at all. I just showed you how this library works and how it can replace the native image optimization in your static exports. If you are already tried it, let me know in the comments. And if you found this tutorial helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Your support helps me to stay motivated in the long run. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.